Hey everyone, it's Dr. Rejuvenation. When it's Dr. Rejuvenation, we're following up on a patient who's nine weeks after her vaginoplasty and labioplasty. Let's see how she's doing. So then, talk about kind of your decision-making process in terms of why you decided to do it. Um, it was kind of a personal decision. Um, my husband didn't care, but I cared. Could no longer find the muscles to do kegels. Mm -hmm. And I myself felt like I needed to have it done for me to feel more feminine, more beautiful, more sex, more sexy. Um, wanted a labiaplasty for lots of years. Um, made the decision. My husband was supportive. Couldn't be happier with the results. So he didn't feel like you needed to have the surgery. So in terms of like sexual intercourse, he still experienced pleasure or at no, that point? Actually, um, uh, no. <laughs> to be honest, no. But he, we thought maybe it was just him. Mm -hmm. and, and then share roughly how old you are and how he is, like uh, how old he I'm, is. I'm 55, he is 68. Okay. So we, we thought maybe it was just age. For Absolutely. Yeah. So, you know, it wasn't a big surprise. And so I just thought maybe my age, you know, his age. So, but I decided to go ahead and have something done just since, you know, I, I just thought that I was going to have it done for me. Yeah. And uh, let's just say it really worked. <laughs> <laughs> so now you guys are super active. We are super active. It was difficult for him to achieve an, like an erection before, and we thought maybe it was something with him just age-wise. And, and I now say he, he doesn't, doesn't need the magic pills anymore. Not at all. Which, to be honest, I would have thought, like at that age, it's not uncommon that men have issues. Um, but just, it must have been more of an friction issue. So now that I've tightened up the vagina, no uh, more medication. Um, there's no medication needed. And yeah, um, right. orgasm achieved every time, at least three, well, three times a day. That's fabulous. <laughs> Wish that were the case for all of us. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so she's being used quite a lot. You yeah. recommended three times exercise a day. <laughs> I did. She's doing that. Good, 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 good. Glad you're following your homework. <laughs> yes, I am. Well, I'm glad. Yes. And then to have all that extra skin removed, that's made sex a little bit oh, it more enjoyable, easier. And you, who would think extra skin on a labia would really matter? Nobody really goes around looking. But in swimsuits, mm -hmm. underwear, lingerie, yes. that was noticeable for me. It mattered. And in intimacy, I always, I always noticed. Probably no one right. else really cared, yeah. but I cared, and so it makes a difference for me. But don't you feel like you feel much sexier like wearing lingerie I, now too? I do. I do. And in swimsuits, we recently went to Mexico. Oh, and awesome! Oh, have a great time. I, I had a great time, and I realized I wasn't doing the roll and tuck. Yeah, so common. And a lot of women do that. Yeah, I, I didn't the roll realize, and tuck. but I talked to women that have had the roll and tuck, and I've suggested they look at this oh. process. Because it it's life changing. It is life changing. And mine really was. I don't know if women have had this experience, but I had a bad experience. And that was why I wanted that memory erased from my mind. Mm -hmm. I had an abusive situation happen when I was a child, mm -hmm. and I wanted it removed. And yeah. it has been. Yeah. So it was a win win for me. I'm win, so win, glad. win. Bye, Dr. Win. That's it. Another happy client, you guys.